Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my question is for President of DRC. Uh, Mr. President, if uh, security is indeed a big problem for you, and clearly if you were able to solve it as DRC government or DRC army, you would have done it by now. My question is to you is why don't you then collaborate with the Luanda process or the Nairobi process to find a lasting solution? I believe the solution is in your hands to own the problem, but to work with those who can help you solve it, to solve it. Because we all believe, I'm from Rwanda, we all believe that security is paramount for investments and tourism, and we must all play our part. Thank you. Well, if you are from Rwanda, you're probably aware that in November, there was a discussion, a meeting took place, and the discussion led to uh, a roadmap to try and bring us out of the crisis. The meeting took place in uh, Angola, in Luanda, and all the countries were present, especially, obviously, there were representatives from uh, Democratic Republic of Congo and Rwanda, but other countries were present as well. And as I said, we agreed on a roadmap, which uh, decreed a truce and a ceasefire and immediate withdrawal of the M23 group, which is supported by Rwanda, on November the 25th. They were supposed to strive, move, start moving out on November 25th, and as of uh, January 15th, we were supposed to uh, acknowledge that the process had come to an end. Well, lady, I'm sorry, but M23, this terrorist group supported by Rwanda, is still there. They are still present in some communities, in some villages that they took from uh, the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo. In spite of the uh, international pressure, the group is still there. They pretend to move, they, they act like they are moving, but they're not. They're simply moving around, redeploying elsewhere, and they stay in the towns that they have captured. And in the meantime, there has been in a um, slaughter in a uh, place called Shishite. 100 people, innocent people, were slaughtered. The group slaughtered them because they wanted to frighten the community, they wanted to frighten the population and move the population away. Because in this place, they know that there are precious metals in the soil, in the ground of that particular village. So that is a huge challenge. It's very difficult. We cannot invest to develop the country and invest to increase the, our mine, uh, the, invest the necessary resources to uh, increase uh, our for armed forces strength so that they can defend us. If we all shared the same philosophy, which was my philosophy when I became the president of the country, at the time, I wanted to talk to all our neighbors. They have, we have nine neighboring countries, and I wanted to offer developing uh, development projects. We thought we could all benefit from uh, these projects. We thought they would uh, benefit to all our populations, and I can name all of the nine countries, and I can tell you which project uh, I uh, supported and offered and I uh, encourage those countries to invest in these joint projects so that we could uh, develop our uh, economic uh, exchanges and trade so that we could guarantee peace and stability and safety in the area. Unfortunately, some of those neighboring countries who uh, wanted to keep fighting, it has been impossible to uh, complete those projects. So, lady, I'm, madam, I'm really sorry, but the... Uh, Safety issue we have in the Great Lake region has a name, Rwanda. On, on the topic of uh, this, making this uh, energy transition just uh, between developed and developing countries to, to maybe bounce on, on different ideas that were said there, um, many of the countries that actually have precious metals and these resources are developing countries. Yeah. And there are some initiatives today of some of these countries which I find very smart, which is localization initi initiatives, so that they don't only you know, exploit mines, but actually transfer a lot of the manufacturing industry in their country so that the batteries, etc., are done in the, done in the country mm -hmm. and so that a real industry can right. actually happen Important. and develop. Important. This is maybe a solution to part for of that. The, for, our, uh, for next year's, uh, we'll get back together. Thank you for the question. I think we're over time, actually. 
thank you uh, to this uh, great panel and good discussion. Appreciate it. Thank you.